This here is the remains of a Philips AE2160 receiver, AM FM receiver, analog, which I did about a year ago. I did a video on it when I tested it. Can't be tested anymore now because I've pulled it to pieces. I wanted to see what was inside. I seem to have, have a habit for pulling things to pieces, but the problem with me is I've got an inquiring mind. Somebody wrote that in a, back in the days when I used to go to work, I, somebody wrote me a reference and said, um, John has an inquiring mind. <laughs> but I do, I always like to see, I'll see, here's the speaker, that's the front, that's the speaker, pretty, nothing special about it. Uh, 8 ohms, 1 point, 1 1.5 watts, uh, you know, that's a, it's not a, we're not talking about 100 milliwatts, we're talking about 1.5 watts, so that's a reasonable audio output, so it, what I wanted to see was whether uh, there are any discrete, with 1.5 watts, up to 1.5 watts, say uh, even one watt output, you'd think there may be a, a discrete transistor or something. Uh, here's the back, the rear of it, and there we have the transformer, which transforms, converts 240 volts AC into 3 volts DC. I might hang on to that. And here we have Note that the tuners uh, doesn't use any strings. <laughs> no strings attached to this. It's a direct drive band type. See that? And at the same time, it moves the vanes inside this uh, variable capacitor here to change stations. But there's definitely no sign of any transistors on this circuit board. That thing there that looks like an old-fashioned discrete transistor is in fact an electrolytic capacitor. Does look a bit like an old fashioned transistor but it's not, it's a capacitor. And so is that electrolytic capacitor and so is that there. There's a switch, AM, FM. Uh, so what we've got is one single integrated circuit. Amazing. <laughs> That's that's all there is. Let's have a look on the other side, see if we can see anything. Are there any other integrated circuits? Wait a sec, there's something under that tuning wheel. Uh, looks like another IC. Yeah, there's two ICs. There's another one just under that tuning wheel there, see? And these here are the diodes that convert the AC into DC. One, two, three, four. That one is uh, an M1 type diode made in China. And uh, so basically you've got, I can't see any other ICs. So you've got one very small integrated circuit under there. And this one here, which is obviously the, does the tuning and uh, tunes in the, uh, the mixer. Uh, it's a super het receiver, so that would be a mixer for the the AM, and it also act as an AM, an FM receiver, an IF stage, and probably converts it to audio. I don't know. It doesn't tell you what type it is, but there you go. That's what's inside the Philips, and uh, it was designed by Philips in the Netherlands but it was manufactured in China. It says so here that uh, it was made in China, but here it says designed and developed by Philips Holland. Well, Holland is a, a state. It's North Holland, actually, a state of the Netherlands. That's where Philips head office is. So... There you go. Two ICs, two integrated circuits. Uh, that's all there is to it. Amazing. They've replaced the old five-valve set of years 
which was would have been about that big. It's amazing, isn't it? And uh, 